Once famed for its cool temperatures and verdant growth, Cameron Highlands is now battling the twin threats of water pollution and unsustainable land clearing. Rampant land clearing activities for the purpose of agricultural cultivation riddle the hills, done by stubborn farmers who either do not have a permit or flood regulations. Heavy machinery has also been sighted at work during the weekends when its use is prohibited. Some of the land clearing is being done on hill slopes, which are clearly class 3 or 4, meaning those above 30 degrees and pose a high risk of landslides and soil erosion. When it rains heavily, sand gushes down the slopes into the waiting rivers, which have turned the murky colour of Te Tarik. Some of the clogged drains or streams have already begun overflowing every time it rains, flooding the roads with dirty water. The situation is compounded by huge stretches of farms, which are covered by white plastic sheets, causing rainwater to travel very swiftly into the rivers before getting a chance to be filtered through the ground. But soil erosion is not the only thing polluting the once pristine rivers. The way pesticides are washed into the rivers is also a big problem. Alarmingly, this is not merely an isolated or small-scale problem, but one that is taking place all over Cameron Highlands. The star paid three separate site visits to a few locations, including Sungai Manson, 49 Mile, Blue Valley and Kuala Terla, all of which revealed extensive land-clearing activities for agricultural cultivation. There was also little or no evidence of any efforts by farmers to create a proper drainage system, including silt traps to help them prevent the soil from washing into the rivers or streams. Many farmers with existing farms have also neglected to follow regulations in maintaining a buffer zone between the farm borders and the rivers. Residents in Tanarata have expressed dissatisfaction over what they deem rampant illegal clearing, claiming that it has affected their health as well as jeopardised the future of Cameron Highlands as a tourism and agriculture destination. Weather, now. We, love, we love the weather, that's why we are here. So after they destroy all the jungles, the weather is not like those days, you know. Cold. It's getting like we are feeling like it's getting warmer now. Cameron Highlands salah satu tempat yang orang datang untuk feel calm and then want to release all the tension of them, you know. And then tiba dia orang datang sini, dia orang akan cakap, eh, kenapa Cameron Highlands not that cold that like we think and like we thought or something, you know? Yeah, tourists. Recently, a massive soil erosion near the Kuala Terla water treatment plant caused the only access road to the plant and the farms beyond to give way after heavy rainfall. A landslide also occurred on the same day on the Tanarata Ringlet Road, causing a one-and-a-half-hour traffic jam in both directions. The Sultan of Pahang, Sultan Ahmad Shah, has expressed his strong displeasure at the actions of errant farmers, who are spoiling the land and water at Cameron Highlands with their irresponsible actions. He told the star that the problem of illegal agriculture cultivation has been going on for a long time and that enforcement officers are taking as much as possible to bring the culprits to book. We would like this to stop. I, be, I advise my people. But you must remember, not only people from Pahang, they have, uh, they have uh, people from uh, abroad who got money and asking my people to do their donkey work for them, which they are doing. So we will, we will try. You cannot fight against the government because Malaysians are very loyal, you know that. Mm. So the state will come down hard on these errant farmers? Right? Oh yes, yeah, the law is there. Cameron Highlands District Officer Dato Ahmad Daud claims it is a combination of the Highlands' difficult terrain and farmers' attitudes that allow continued rampant land clearing to occur. We have to take a step. Because we, we have to look on the political side also. Huh? So we have, we have to refer to, to the state government. Any actions, we have to refer to the state government. I cannot take my, my own decision. No? Because there will be implications in politics. That's a problem. No? He adds the land office, together with the district departments of irrigation and drainage, are on an ongoing campaign to educate farmers about responsible ways to dispose of their farm waste. Sultan Ahmad expressed his wish that Cameron Highlands' beauty and environment be preserved and even beautified in order to get more tourists and achieve more income for the state.